Our beloved Mother Saint Mary, when she was about 58 years old, an angel of the Lord came to her to announce the date of her departure. She was exceedingly joyful, and she asked all the apostles to come to her quickly. During this time, many of the apostles were dispersed all over the world, preaching the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Miraculously, they all convened to her except St. Thomas, who was preaching the faith in India. St. Mary was happy to see all the apostles, and she informed them that her departure from this world is at hand. She prayed for them and blessed them. Jesus Christ, with a multitude of angels, came to take her pure soul to heaven. With hymns and praises with the angels, the apostles placed her holy body in a place prepared for her in Gethsemane. For three days, angels were praising and singing around her tomb, and a beautiful smelling aroma spread from the place where Virgin Mary was buried. It was God's will to ascend the pure body of Virgin Mary to heaven. This matter was hidden from the apostles except St. Thomas, who was preaching in India, and he was not present when St. Mary departed from this world. On his way back to Jerusalem, he saw on the top of one of the mountains a multitude of angels, who informed him to hurry and to take the blessing of the body of the Mother of God. He hurried and kissed and received the blessings of the pure body. The girdle that surrounded St. Mary's holy body fell, and he hurried and picked it up and kissed it, glorifying God for this blessing. When he arrived at Jerusalem, after he had completed his pastoral visits, St. Thomas wanting to review the miracle of the assumption of the pure body of St. Mary, he asked to visit the tomb where she was buried. When the apostles lifted up the stone, they did not find the body in the tomb, which disturbed them all, and they were astonished. St. Thomas explained to them what he saw and how the angels carried the pure body of St. Mary to heaven. The proof was St. Mary's girdle. The apostles decided to fast so the Lord would reveal to them the truth about the body of St. Mary. They fasted for two weeks, and on the 16th of Misra, the Lord Christ, along with Virgin Mary, appeared to the disciples and apostles. The Lord told them that the body that carried the Son of God, the Lobos, and took from it his humanity, should not remain in the dust of the earth. Let us all gather and seek the blessings of our beloved Mother St. Mary and ask her to intercede for us before the throne of her Son, Jesus Christ. Let us honor our Holy Mother, for she became worthy to be called Mother of God. O Virgin Mary, pray for us and ask the Lord to forgive us and deal with us according to His mercy.